What's up? BFC? Hey. We're back from the dead after a while. <laughs> um, yeah. You're clever, man. But we're back, and it's 1914. And, um, so I haven't uploaded a video in a while, but I have some in the works if I ever get around to actually making them. And we've been, like, five weeks or so without actually playing a game and recording it. We played, like, a G.I. Joe battle and had some just relaxing nights and stuff, but we're back. Stratego, we the people, but we didn't record any of those. And so, as you see, here's the setup. In 1914, we played this before, before we started recording everything last year. We had a game of this where BFC was the allies and I was the central powers. Um... And I lost. And now I'm the allies and he's the central powers. And we're kind of having a rematch only on the reverse sides. We got our special money here that I made up in Microsoft Word. And laminated with packing tape because I'm cheap. So instead of buying money, I made it. We got our book over here that we're going to be reading from. Maybe not for the whole game, but at least for... Probably this night for sure, and maybe um, a couple other ones. Barbara W. Tuckman, The Guns of August. And then we got this here. That is um, just a chart, and we're going to do one turn equals one season of a year. So a complete year would take four turns to complete, spring, summer, fall. As we all know, the war was declared on July 28th. So it'll start. Yep in 1914 and summer and then the war ended in autumn of 1918 November 11th and just a quick up update on the chart over here that we probably don't show ever but this is what we keep track of all the victories and stuff and BFC is one ahead victory of me so this is the tie it up for all the marbles. And I guess we shall see you after turn one. Yeah. All right, everyone. Turn one is over. And just like we're back, so is the fact. Tradition of Sebastian Bastion. Yes. Patent pending. Um, read an expert, an excerpt from a historical book. Today's excerpt comes Guns from The Guns of August by Barbara Tuchman. Okay, this is uh, the fact. Like a swinging scythe, the five German armies of the right wing and center cut into France from Belgium after the Battle of the Frontiers. A million Germans were in the invading force whose leading columns, shooting and burning, entered French territory on August 24th. <clears throat> no breakthrough was made on the Lorraine front where the two armies of the left wing under Prince Ruprecht, continued to struggle in prolonged battle against the furious resistance of Castellan and Niles and Dubail's armies. Then the long white highways of northern France, cutting a swath 75 miles wide, the German right wing was on the march to Paris with Kluck's army on the extreme right seeking to envelop the Allied line. Joffrey's immediate problem was to halt the retreat of his own armies while at the same time shifting weight to the left to create a force strong enough to check the enemy's enveloping movement and be capable of resuming the offensive. That's just kind of the setup of where this was at that time. It's kind of you know, the beginning of the war. That's kind of where we're at. Yeah. I think the whole book is only... It only, um, it only covers August. like the first couple months of the war or something. Yeah. And the very the very start of it, so it's very yeah, fitting that we play that. Um, we, we we read that for the first couple rounds. Um, so, yeah. what happened? Um, well, Austria, as you know, invaded Serbia, left a the guy there. Um, invaded Romania, took it handedly. They did invade Ukraine, um, but they only had a guy and an artillery left. And they also invaded Venice, but only had a guy and artillery left. They got the the attackers and the defenders both started the round very strong, rolling like lots of good dice. It's kind of slowed down towards the end, though. The Russians pushed the uh, Austrians out of Ukraine, went down into Galicia, moved some reinforcements up to Poland, built a plane. Last time we played, 
we played how normal axis analyze is, where in our, like an artillery, one artillery piece supports one infantry, and we did that for planes and artillery in this game. One plane <laughs> supported one artillery. But we read the rules and um, figured out that we played that wrong, and now planes are getting built all over the place because now they support all <coughs> artillery yeah. units, not That's just powerful. one. So that happened. The... Germans pushed into Poland, pushed into France. Um, they uh, attacked Lorraine, but they only had a couple guys in artillery left. And moved some guys down to help support the Austrians. Um, they gathered their fleet there, sent the U-boats over there, and sank the British or the English ships over on Canada. And that was pretty much it. The French sent their fleet up to help guard the Italians. <laughs> they took their transports <coughs> and took Portugal. The battleship came over and sank the German sub that was there. Moved up to Picardy. And retook Lorraine pretty handedly. Um, I think that was it. Moved some guys up. Well, Libya there. The Gold Coast. The Germans didn't do anything down here. The English took a couple, or they moved some men down here. This guy came over. The transport from here came down. This guy came over, took that. Oops. And this transport came over here from here, grabbed a couple guys, and a man in artillery from India, placed them right there, plus the guys they get. British took this with the army from Egypt. The cruiser stayed there. That cruiser came from India. They moved a guy up into a guy in artillery up into Picardy. Built three transports and a fighter in London. They did build a couple guys in India as well. Moved their fleet down to eight, and that's pretty much it for them. The and then we got the Ottomans who took Bulgaria. Got their army running up there. Moved down, yeah. built five men in Constantinople, moved uh, some guys down to the Syrian desert, some in, into Mesopotamia, and into Smyrna. The Italians retook Venice with the guys from Piedmont and uh, the one man from Tuscany, moved up their reinforcements from Rome, built a couple artillery and a plane, destroyed the Austrian Navy. So the Austrian Navy did not do nearly as good this time. Uh, last time we played, the Austrian Navy stayed fully intact, beat the Italians, the British, and the French, and they only came out, they sallied out at the end of the game after probably like 20 turns or something insane, and um, hit the mines really bad in 17. We got weakened, and then the American ships actually came over and sank them. That's what happened to them in the last game. This game, they got sank, um, but they did not go without a fight. So, the... Tynes, their fleet consists of a damaged battleship, that's it. The guys from Libya came up, the man artillery came up, took uh, Albania. We got the free men there, so trying to be a pain to the Austrians. And they moved their guy up. The Americans built transports, and that's it. They didn't do much. And um, that, yeah, so that's it for turn one. BFC is out in the, um, taking a phone call. So, oh, he's back. Sorry, guys. So, I just got done with a turn overview. Anything you want to add? It's been, it's been interesting. Kind of an interesting start, you know. All right. And like I said, um, I'm going to do this week by week. So, every week there'll be a video up. That way it the rounds keeps. Do take a while. The rounds take a while. And so, and it'll be like a part. You can, you can follow it as it goes along in real time, more this has or less. Kind of become a winter and tradition for us too. Kind of. This is the second winter in a row that we've played. Yeah. World War One. Very fitting. It seems fitting to play this in the cold. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why. But um. I and. I think of it being cold. The. <coughs> and we got our paper here. That we're gonna keep track, and every time the rounds get done, I'm gonna write the date in the box. The spring X is out because the sun, or the war wasn't happening in 1914 in the spring. It started in the summer, and the yellow is when the war ended historically. But I left some extra boxes just in case we go over. And so yeah, 
I guess end of round one. that is the end of round one, and we will Any see thoughts you. Thoughts or comments? Comment below. Tell us what you yeah. think. Yeah, I guess we'll either see you um, in the next video, I suppose. All right, peace.